Uh, yeah, I think we did do a lot right tonight, to be honest. Um, I thought that was one of our better games for the season um, and how we want to present ourselves. I thought our endeavour on the boards was fantastic. Um, I thought defensively we're a lot sturdier than we have been for the majority of the season. Um, but we came across two guys playing some unbelievable basketball, you know, shot making. Uh, wasn't our thing tonight. Um, we're an excellent offensive team who shoots the ball well, and tonight we weren't either. Um, and that's why it was such a such a dogfight. And uh, you know, I thought the fact that we were able to sort of be in the game whilst experiencing a shooting performance that Machado and uh, and Cam Oliver put on um, was a tip of the hat to us. But at the end of the day, we're going home winless, and uh, and uh, you know, Cairns are now two games ahead of us. I think uh, so. It's disappointing. Um, well, you would have seen we were switching a fair bit, which means sometimes we've got some guards going against bigs down there. And uh, one of the things we talked about throughout the course of the week and before we played them last time as well is to make sure that you're ultra aggressive and you're really getting a body in and hitting hard and early. Um, and I thought we were able to do that and clean up the boards. I don't think we gave away any offensive boards in the first half. So, um, you know, Kansas has been a they're a long and athletic team. Um, we're not. So it's really important for us to, to make sure that we're physical and get first strike in there. And uh, I thought we did a pretty good job throughout the, the majority of the game there. Uh, Cam got a hold of us a little bit. I think it was the third quarter. And got a couple of, couple of offensive boards in, in, uh, in a short period and, and it kind of broke the game. Not broke it open, but certainly gave the, uh, gave the initiative to Cairns. The second quarter, I thought, was yeah, typical. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure on that. Um, it's certainly not, it's never nice to give up buckets. I mean, we've been in the habit of it a little bit, aren't we? You know, we New Zealand kiss some crap off the glass against us and go into a half and see it again here. It's, it's an issue for us, but our clock management at the end of quarters has been substandard. Um, uh, and it's something we're trying to rectify. We're trying to do better, um, but you know, it's failed us at times and uh, it's a little bit disappointing. But yeah, certainly after half time, they certainly came out with a little swagger and um, perhaps that was the initiative, or they, perhaps that created the initiative for them. Uh, I thought we generated some good looks. Um, you know, sometimes they don't drop, uh, but you know, we really hung our hat on our defense in the second quarter, and I think that generated um, a better offensive performance from us. Uh, once they got the momentum in the third, we found it difficult to stem that flow. I think they must have hit for felt like about four or five threes in a row to start that quarter, um, and you know, that's going to be difficult to be able to generate your own own offense as well because you're always taking the ball out the net so um, you know I think there was patches of the game we played extremely well like Simon said um, but yeah it was just probably that third quarter I think they had 32 points after only holding them to 11 in the second uh, that was probably the game right there. Yeah, I think every game in this league is double points. You know, there's no game where you can really relax. Every team's a great team. So um, we're just trying to get better and better each week. Um, like Simon's been stressing to us at practice, just keep improving throughout the season. And, um, you know, the results will take care of themselves. But uh, we just got to take it one game at a time, keep preparing well. Coaching staff do a great job of preparing us well for every game. Um, and it's up to us as players to put it all together on the floor. And, um, you know, we feel like we're very close. Uh, we've had some tough losses this year, as other teams have, but uh, we've got a very potent team. And I think, you know, we show glimpses of how good we can be every game. So, um, you know, we're just working hard and, and hopefully, you know, we can get a good result against New Zealand. Uh, Coach, just on the pitch, you had a quite unusual few 
feel like Cairns sort of controlled the tempo, had bodies in his area, didn't seem to get the line either, didn't seem to get a transition too much? Uh, well, certainly if they're shooting the ball at the clip that Cairns did, um, that the opportunity to get out and run um, are limited. Um, and certainly I thought that, uh, you know, they turned the ball over a little bit early, which gave us some uh, impetus to get out and run, but we were unable to do that um, with any sort of consistency. And I think last time we played them, we generated like 18 of our 40 field goals out of transition. So it was something that, uh, you know, we've been pretty successful on, but you've got to get stops to do that. Um, and we weren't capable of doing that um, after the halftime break. But, uh, you yeah, know, Mitch was, uh, you know, we're still trying to work Mitch and, and, um, and, and tie it in together. I know against Illawarra, we, we were fairly potent offensively and it looked like everything was uh, uh, going our way. And, um, but we shot the ball well. And, you know, I think that it's always a little bit different. Cairns have got really good length. Um, and I think that maybe troubled us a little bit. Our efficiencies around the rim weren't particularly good tonight. Um, we certainly weren't efficient out of the post. Um, and it's credit to you know, the guys and their length and the way that they defended us down there. Um, but yeah, I thought Mitch was pretty solid, to be honest. Um, you know, 16, seven and five, and it's nothing to sneeze at. Wasn't an MVP sort of game, but that's because there was two other exceptional athletes out there doing some exceptional basketball things. Quickly, uh, that comes between Ty and Mitch. They both like operating on the box a little bit. Is it a matter of sort of is Mitch now residing perimeter, or do you want to switch him in there? No, I think you saw them both in there doing a little bit tonight. Um, and Ty's exceptional um, catch and shoot guy on the perimeter as well. He shot the ball very poorly tonight from there, but uh, but uh, he's not someone you want to leave out there too often uh, unprotected. So uh, no, I think it's uh, I think they're both their skill sets are actually quite complementary. Um, it's just really working them in because uh, you know Ty was. You know, like our MVP of the preseason, we ran everything through him. Uh, Mitch didn't spend a day with us, and then first game comes around. Um, Mitch still, I think he trained with us once, so they spent maybe one training session and five minutes together. And it's um, when you got two very uh, potent offensive weapons and guys that who are extremely good uh, um, playmakers as well. They've got to sort of learn to play together, and I think it's just taken a little bit of time. We always kind of figured this when Ty was coming back that. There might be a, a few issues there, but uh, look, I think if uh, if we knock down a few a few open looks tonight, then we're not really talking about that, to be honest. It's just that uh, it's apparent, or you, it's not really apparent. You, you can overstate the uh, maybe the the growing pains there because we didn't knock down shots. All right, happy New Year, guys. Yeah.